Captain Me, she's been locked in her room all day. Who knows what she's doing up there? Yeah, well, the thing is, Meg is becoming a little enamored with me, and I'm kind of losing control of the situation. Oh, she's just grateful you took her to the dance. Well, uh, I think it's more than that. Uh, so here's the thing, and don't get mad, and, and that part I can't stress enough. That's a great shirt, by the way. Um, I may have made out with Meg. <laughs> okay, I had that coming. What the hell is wrong with you, you sick? Bastard. Look, I was drinking. Oh, what a shock. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Look, the short version is, this morning she made me eat her hair pie. <laughs> no, it's not what you think. Stewie had some, too. <laughs> Stop punching me! Look, Brian, I don't know what the hell happened between you two, but you better go upstairs and straighten it out right now. Ah, oh, this is even worse than when you ate that bubblegum out of the garbage. Brian, did you get into the garbage last night? Uh... No? Why? Don't lie to me, Brian. I'm not lying. Uh, Meg, you got a minute? What the hell? I made that for you, Brian. Meg! Look, you obviously didn't hear me yesterday, so I'll explain it again. And here to assist me is headmaster of the New York School for the Hard of Hearing, Mr. Garrett Morris. Meg, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend! I will never be attracted to you. I will never be attracted to you! You're acting like a psycho bitch. You're acting like a psycho bitch! Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow! I won't be ignored, Brian. Ooh, I like your ass. Joe, I gotta tell you, this whole cop thing ain't as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. When do we get to shoot some bad guys? Guys, it's not all about action. It's about staying vigilant until you're needed. What are you doing? I'm watching Bonnie undress. Bonnie's your wife. I know. I like to watch her strip and pretend she's a woman who I've never met, but who looks just like Bonnie and lives in my house. Get naked, you strange whore! Peter, I haven't seen Meg or Brian since last night. I think something may have happened. Mom, is it bad if I saw Meg tie up Brian last night, put him in the trunk of his car, and then drive away? What? Chris, why didn't you say anything? I dropped the ball. I'm sorry. I, I have just been buried in paperwork for the past 72 hours. Oh, my God. Brian was right. Meg really must be obsessed with him. Oh, Peter, we gotta find them. Don't worry, Lois. We're the police, and we'll do our very best to find